non-examined life is not worth living. That true knowledge exists in knowing that you know nothing. So ilan lamang yan sa mga naging sikat na pilosopiya ni Socrates. Ngayon, ay aalamin natin kung sino nga ba siya. Saan siya nagsimula at paano siya nakilala. So without further ado, let's get started. Socrates of Athens Socrates is the father of the Western philosophy. And he was arguably the most influential philosopher of all time. His ideas not only changed the course of history, but laid the groundwork for what is to be considered as Western philosophy. So who is Socrates? Socrates was born in 469 BC and spent nearly all of his life in Athens, Greece. He was a soldier, then a stone cutter, before devoting his life to being a philosopher or a lover of wisdom. Actually, little thing is known about Socrates' upbringing or the rest of his life because he did not actually write anything down. In fact, Everything we know about Socrates is through the writings of one of his students, Plato. Socrates had plenty of ideas, but he did not claim to actually know anything. And according to Socrates, True knowledge exists in knowing that you know nothing. And in an attempt to uproot ignorance in Athens, Socrates went around the city, pressing people on their beliefs, ultimately exposing they knew nothing. And he always used the process of gradual questioning which is now called as the Socratic Method, which is one of the Socrates' greatest contribution to the academic world. But in 399 BC, Socrates was charged with not believing in the Athenian gods and using his ideas to corrupt the youth and was sentenced to death by poison. Ngayon nakilala na natin kung sino nga ba si Socrates? Atin namang hinga ng opinion ang iba't ibang estudyante mula sa mga naging sikat na pilosopiya ni Socrates. According to the philosophy of Socrates, the unexamined life is not worth living. I remember the birthday to death. For example, 1892 to 1950, which is the most important year. Some says that the birthday is the most important because it is the time that you see the world. On the other side, they say that death is the most important because it is the time you will be with God. Yes, they are both correct, but the truth is, the height of the middle is the most important because it is the time that you're living in this world. If we use our time and life wisely as we examine and analyze about how we live in this world, we can be proud because we live with purposes in 27 moments which is worth living for. However, if our time in this world was spent and not simply and in nonsense things, I think it is not worth living. And we will never know that we are just wasting our time until we examine our purposes in this world. Therefore, 
I agree that his philosophy is right. Because if we look deeper into our life and what we have been through, it will also teach us to be a better future or better person in the future. But if we neglect our life and purposes in this world, it feels like we are not living although we are alive. The true task of the philosopher is to know oneself. I agree with Socrates' philosophy. What's the point of understanding self without knowing oneself, right? Understanding the self needs just one instrument, and it is just you, just me, and not anyone else. It is our task to know thyself. Learning to identify our own self helps to know what's our purposes in life. Knowing what we want so we have a direction in life. A lack of self-knowledge will lead you to unwanted or mistaken ambitions. You will have and know your real purpose in life. It always feels wrong. It's difficult to have no direction in life. Self-knowledge is significant to know. It will bring us to our genuinely happiness and fulfillment in life. It feels like real and genuine to live. It feels like it's right to live. All of the things feels right. Learning our characteristics requires a deep understanding and critical thinking. Knowing yourself will be our foundation in making our life worth living. All my souls are mortal, but the souls of the righteous are mortal and divine. As what Socrates believe, we have life after death. Our souls are mortal, but it is better to do what is right while we are still living in this material world. So that we have not an only mortal souls, but also a divine souls. I agree with Socrates that all men have immortal souls. And he emphasizes the righteousness for us not to have an only immortal souls, but also an divine souls. And there is nothing to lose if we do good. In fact, it feels better if we do something good. But of course, the choice to be good or bad is left to you. Oops! Time out muna. Siguro, hanggang dito na lang. Sana ay marami kayong natutunan sa kung paano nga ba nabuhay si Socrates at ano-ano ang kanyang mga pilosopiya sa buhay. Hanggang sa muli, paalam! Credits to Essel's Voice Singing Idol 2022